All right, good afternoon. We will go ahead and get started here. You, Mr. Brown? Yes, I am. Recording in progress. We're on the record in case 24 CRI 243 caption State of Ohio versus uh, Nathan F. Brown Jr. Here for purposes of a bond setting on a complaint that was filed earlier today. Uh, the defendant is present. We're conducting this hearing by video, appearing on behalf of the State of Ohio's prosecuting attorney, Christopher Tunnell. Mr. Brown, do you have any objection to the court conducting this hearing by video? No. Did you get a copy of the complaint? No. You don't have a copy of the charges that were filed against you? No. Okay. We're going to get you a copy of those. Um, I'm going to go over the charge with you right now, but before we conclude this hearing, make sure you get a copy of the complaint that was filed. There's one count in it. It's failure to comply with an order or signal of police officer. It's a felony of the third degree. It reads on or about August 25th of 2024 in Ashland County, Ohio. Nathan F. Brown Jr. did operate a motor vehicle so as to willfully elude or flee a police officer after receiving a visible or audible signal from a police officer to bring his motor vehicle to a stop. And the operation of the motor vehicle by the offender causes substantial risk of serious physical harm to persons or property in violation of revised code 2921331B, 2921331C5A2, failure to comply with an order or signal of police officer, a felony of the third degree. Do you understand what you're being alleged to have done? Yes, ma'am. All right. You have certain rights in this matter. First, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say during the course of the hearing could be used against you at future hearings. You have the right to have an attorney and you have the right to a court appointed attorney if you cannot afford to hire your own. And if you qualify, there is a $25 fee for court appointed counsel. You also have the right to have a preliminary hearing since you're charged by complaint, which is a probable cause hearing. And you have the right to have a jury trial and to have the state prove your guilt beyond a reasonable doubt as to the charge to all 12 jurors. Do you understand those rights as I've explained them to you? Yes, ma'am. Right. Did you want to be represented by an attorney? Um, probably, yes. Did you, uh, can you afford to hire one or do you want me to consider you for court appointed counsel? Um, court appointed counsel as of right now. Okay, I got some questions for you. Okay. Stop just for a second and call um, one of our assistants over here and see if they can email the um, complaint to the jail here. Okay, um, first of all, can you give me your date of birth? September 21st, 1995. Okay, and what's your address? 1930 Newton Street, Akron, Ohio, 44305 is the zip code. Um, does anybody else live with you at that address? Um, it's my mother address. Um, like, um, so I just moved up here essentially to take care of her. She has breast cancer. So okay. I would say, I don't, I wouldn't say I even live there it's just on my license because I travel for work. So, um, so your yeah. mother lives there. Anybody else live there? No. Do you receive any benefits like Ohio Works First, SSI, SSD, Medicaid, food stamps? No, she does. Okay. She, she gets social um, security. Okay. Are you, um, are you employed? Yes. Where do you work? Holiday by Atria. Okay. And can you tell me what your approximate monthly income is? Um, after taxes, yeah, either way, that's fine. Oh, um, after taxes, about a little under 32. 3200, yeah, okay. Do you have any other income other than that? Yeah, it could be unemployment or works comp, child support, anything like that. No. Do you have any checking, savings, or money market account? Like banks? Do I have any bank? Yeah, I have Huntington, Wells Fargo. Um, do you know the approximate balance of your bank accounts? No, I do not. Okay. Um, I, I know, I know, um, I just had a baby and I'm having another one, so I'm really like way strapped. I don't have no extra money to go anywhere, honestly. Like I'm that way drowning. It's okay. only help me drown even further. <laughs> um, okay. Do you have any stocks, bonds, or CDs? No. 
Okay, any other liquid assets or cash on hand? No. Um, I had a few questions about your monthly expenses. Do you pay out child support monthly? No. Okay. Do you pay for any child care monthly? No. Okay. Any insurance monthly, medical, dental, auto insurance? Yeah, um, auto insurance, um, the medical and stuff, they take out of my check. So um, I guess I don't pay for that out of my pocket. But um, auto insurance, I think it's probably three, two, like it's 276, 276 approximately. Per month? Yeah. Do you have any um, costs like medical or dental costs associated with caring for your mom or another family member? Um, no, not. I don't think so. Do you pay any rent or mortgage? Yes. Um. So my fiance stays in Dayton. Um, hers is nine hundred a month. My mom, I pay the rest of her bills. So probably like sixteen hundred total between the two of them. Like my mom get enough to just pay a certain amount of her bills and then I pay the rest of them. Okay. Is that utilities that you're paying for her or both? Um, what, with my mother or my fiance? Well, both. There's two categories and one is rent or mortgage and one is utilities. Can you split is that like a split between both or all of that? Or yeah, it's it's the combination of all. I can't give you the exact amount um of each okay. individual, but the combination of both. Okay. Approximately what do you spend on food per month? Probably five to six hundred, maybe. Okay. Um, telephone per month? Uh my phone bill is probably three hundred right now. <laughs> okay. Three hundred a month. Because I got two new iPhones. <laughs> do you have any um transportation or fuel costs per month? Um, yeah, gas probably a month. It's been, been up significantly since I've been having to drive to Dayton back to Akron. Um, so I can't get, I, I, like, I love math, so I'll probably just say 300. Okay. It, it used to be way less than that, but okay. it cost me 80 to get to Dayton and back, so. Um, any credit card or other loans you pay monthly? No. Okay, you do qualify for court-appointed counsel. The court's going to appoint Attorney Donald Wick to represent you. We will let him know he's been appointed um, and he'll be at the next hearing for you. We'll give you a chance to talk to him. Um, we are going to address bond today. Um, Attorney Tanel, the state's position on bond. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor should be aware of the uh, allegations against this defendant. They are as follows. On Sunday, August 25th, uh, this gentleman was traveling on uh, I-71 uh, when it is alleged that he engaged in a road rage type incident that resulted in him pointing a firearm at the occupants of a vehicle that was traveling uh, with him or next to him rather uh, out on the highway. Uh, when law enforcement uh, fell in behind him and attempted to stop the vehicle to investigate that allegation, uh, the defendant accelerated away at a high rate of speed. That chase went uh, on I-71, exited on 250, came into the city of Ashland uh, through residential areas, and then back out onto 42, uh, where he blasted through a construction zone. Um, speeds reached upwards of 100 miles an hour. Uh, at various points, including in the city, uh, to say nothing of the red lights that were ignored uh, in the traffic during the day. Uh, 90 miles an hour through the construction zone when he lost control uh, and rolled the car. Uh, the gun was then recovered at the scene of the accident, <clears throat> and the defendant uh, advised law enforcement that his license was suspended, and that's why he didn't stop. Um, the defendant has discussed a little bit here about uh, his uh, living arrangements. Uh, the mother of his uh, child lives in Dayton. Uh, that's whose car he uh, crashed. Uh, his Oleg shows a Parma residence. 
Court should be advised that failure to appear warrants were issued for this defendant per Oleg in 2014 and 2015. Uh, and in 2018, it shows an improper handling of a firearm in a motor vehicle conviction out of Portage County. Based on uh, the facts of the case and uh, this defendant's situation, the state would ask that bond be set in addition to the standard conditions of the court, that there be a GPS requirement that the defendant not be permitted to operate any motor vehicle, that he not be in possession of any firearms, and in addition to a PR bond, he uh, be required to post $250,000 cash for surety. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Uh, Mr. Brown, if there's something you'd like to say regarding the court is just setting bond today. So if there's like something you'd like to say, you may. I'll just remind you, you don't have to because you have the right to remain silent. So if you want to talk to your attorney first um, and have him address the court at a later date, that's fine. Um, um, yeah, you. yeah. He, um, he said in 2014 and 15, I failure to return on a bond that is actually inaccurate. I was incarcerated in Cuyahoga County Jail, so I never, ever failed to return on the bond. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. At the jail, did you happen to get a copy of that complaint yet? I just, um, I don't... Give, give me one second, I can grab it. Okay, thanks. I just want to make sure you get a copy of that before we stop this hearing. Did you get a copy of that complaint, sir? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, the court's going to set bond as follows. To be released, you'll have to post two bonds. The first is a personal recognizance bond. That's your written promise with the court to appear at all future hearings in the case. If you fail to appear, you could be charged with a separate felony offense for failing to appear. The second would be either a bail bond that could be secured by the deposit of 10% of the amount of bond in cash or a surety bond, bond secured by real estate or a deposit of cash in the amount of $250,000. Uh, conditions of bond are that you not leave the state of Ohio without obtaining written permission from the court, appear at all future hearings in the case and keep the court informed of your current address and telephone number at all times. Follow and obey all laws of the state of Ohio and orders of the court. Do not use, consume, or possess any drugs of abuse or alcohol and you'll be subject to random drug and alcohol testing cannot use any products containing THC while you're on bond. After you post bond, you need to report to the court's bailiff's office. Uh, they're located across from the Ashland County Clerk of Courts. So they'll get you enrolled in the court's drug testing and bond program. Court's also going to order you be subject to passive monitoring through GPS tracking. That you comply with all the terms and conditions associated with caring for and charging, uh, maintaining the GPS device. Be responsible for a daily monitoring fee at a rate of $5 per day plus a $50 screening fee. Prior to being released, you have to put down a deposit of $250 for the GPS monitor and a $300 deposit for the first and last month of monitoring fees. The $250 deposit would be refunded to you at the conclusion of the case if you return the GPS in good working condition. Court's also going to order you are subject to a curfew between the hours of 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. in an approved residence, that you have uh, no possession of firearms while you're on bond, uh, and that you not operate any motor vehicle while you're on bond. Do you have any questions about the conditions of bond, sir? No. So I'm being charged with 1F3? That's correct. That's what's in the complaint currently, sir. So for one F three, my bond is two hundred and fifty thousand. That's correct, sir. Wow. Um, we're um, gonna set another hearing here and give you a chance to talk to your attorney privately before we get that one started. Oh, let me see. Attorney Tanel, I'm looking at Thursday at nine thirty. We can do that. All right. So Thursday, that'll be August 29th. 
at 9.30 a.m. That'll be an initial appearance on your complaint then. Like I said, we'll give you a chance to talk to your attorney. Um, if you do bond out, come to the courthouse for that hearing. If not, we'll have you by video again. Do you have any questions on that, sir? No. Okay. We'll see everybody back um, Thursday at 9.30 a.m. then. We're adjourned for today. Thank you, Your Honor. Recording stopped.